Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you with a huge collective haul and when I say huge, I mean huge. I have been collecting this stuff for just under a month now so there's heaps of different items. I'll try and say the prices as I go through like I always do and I hope you guys enjoy. It's Ali because they were having 50% off all their sale items and so I had to get a few things. The first thing that I found was this red play suit. This is really, really cute. It's got some lace detailing on the side here if you can see that. Now I do not have anything red and I don't even have a play suit so that's why I got this to give it a shot it's a really plunging low neckline if you can see that but I wore a bandeau with it um, when I tried it on and it looked really really cute this was originally $30 it went down to $20 and I actually picked this up for $10 I'm so excited to wear this as I said I don't own any play suits I don't even know if this is really gonna suit me it looked kind of cute but we'll see how we go I picked up was this really cute white owl sweater now I wasn't going to get this until I found out the price and I really couldn't resist and I could not leave it there. It was originally $25. It was then in a $10 bin, but it scanned up at $2.50. So I got this brand new, really cute sweater for $2.50. As you can see, it's got this big owl on it, and it's got all these really pretty detailing. I don't know, I thought it was really dainty, really cute. I don't really wear white, but I'm gonna see if I can uh, pull this off in the winter time, and I just absolutely love it. And $2.50, that is just like, that is cheaper than thrift shops right there, so that is awesome. That I got were these little shorts. These were down to five dollars. I don't know their original price, and they're just really cute, just for like hanging out around the house, or maybe even PJ shorts. Just five dollar shorts. You really can't go wrong, and they're black, so they'll go with everything. Big W and found this really cute shirt. This was down to five dollars, down from fifteen, so I just had to grab it. I got this in a size ten. I was going to get the size eight, but I just wanted it a little bit looser, um, so I decided to get the ten. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got this kind of embroidered flat with um, blue and white stripes and I just love it so much that I decided to get the exact same shirt except in a different color scheme this has green stripes with uh, a blue embroidered flower and I just absolutely love it as I said they're really really pretty and once again I got this in a size 10 what I decided to get is going to be incredibly hard to show so I will insert photos but I decided to pick up a onesie this is kind of like my first ever animal onesie and the one that I got was a cheetah I am absolutely in love with this. This is what the arms look like. The legs are obviously super, super long. But the main part is the hood, and this is what the hood looks like. I absolutely love this. This was at Big W for $29 and I couldn't leave it there. And it was long enough for me. It's so cute. As I said, I will insert photos. looks like on it is extremely cozy and I'm so excited to wear this in the winter time because it's already getting really really cold here in Queensland so I absolutely just love this it was a little bit random and it's just this knitted headband I really wanted to try this out I've seen people wear these kind of like across their head like that with their hair down and knowing that I wear my hair down a lot more now I really wanted to give it a shot this was originally two dollars but because it was a red sticker I believe it was 70% off and I got this for 60 cents which is just so incredibly cheap and the last thing that I decided to pick up was some more of these underwear I got these in one of my previous hauls in the dark gray with the pink lining and they are so comfy that I went back and got another pair and they are two dollars thrifting and found this wicked bandage dress it's a funny story about this this is originally from ice and I nearly bought it from ice for twenty dollars and I'm really glad that I didn't because at the thrift shop it was three dollars I'm really excited to wear this in the winter I cannot wear this when it's not in the winter because it is incredibly short on me but I thought with leggings and boots this would look really 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 sexy it's kind of got a crisscross detailing over the breast I don't know if you'll be able to see that because it is black on black but I just absolutely love this it's incredibly tight and incredibly sexy and I'm really really excited to wear this in the winter time thrift shop I found this really pretty floral baby doll style dress this just has little cap sleeves and it's a fairly decent length once again just like the other dress I'm excited to pair this over leggings with boots in the winter time I think this will look really stunning with a skinny belt I've been to Priceline a few different times but I've just combined all the items together and I'll show you all at once the first thing that I got was this Napro palette hair dye in light ash blonde this is currently in my hair right now so this is what it looks like when it's in your hair I love this hair dye. It's a hair dye that I buy every single time because it's really, really nice color. It doesn't have a yellow tint to it because it is 
ash blonde, which I really, really love. So that was the first thing, and I believe that was $10. Grab two Essence lip liners. Dom Smiles here has got me addicted to these. She said that they're amazing, so I tried one, and I absolutely love them. So I picked up another one in In The Nude, which is this one down here, but I also decided to try Satin Mauve. So I haven't tried this top one yet, but I'm really excited to because they are absolutely awesome lip liners. They're incredibly creamy, and they look really, really pretty on the lip kind of foundation crazy and got a whole bunch of stuff for kind of like my skin or like my base makeup. The first thing that I got was this Natio Ageless Primer. I love this primer. It has rosehip oil and it's got vitamin C in it which is really really good for my skin and my skin is quite sensitive and it doesn't react to this so I absolutely love that. I also picked up my Revlon Colorstay um, foundation. This is in 110 Ivory. I cannot stop raving about this stuff. I will never, ever, ever get rid of this product. It is amazing. It is a godsend. And it says it lasts for 24 hours. I can actually say that it does. I have worn this for about 30 hours with a finishing spray. I know it was so bad for my skin, but I had to do it. And um, it looked fine at the end of the day. Obviously, it looked like a little bit patchy, but I'd been wearing it for 30 hours. So what can you expect? Um, so I absolutely love this stuff. My Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream for oily skin with 2% salicylic acid. I absolutely love this stuff. As you guys know, I have been going through IPL um, treatment on my skin, which is a form of laser surgery, which is a cosmetic surgery here in Australia to make my skin look perfect because I do have acne scars. And with all those surgeries help, I can now finally just wear BB cream if I feel like I want to. Um, and I absolutely love this stuff. It is the perfect color for me. It has really good coverage, um, but not full coverage, if that makes sense. It's definitely medium coverage. I do not believe this is buildable at all, but it does cover my scars and it gives me a really, really flawless finish. So I love that. And I also decided to pick up two of my Stay Matte Press Powders. I got them on two different trips because I forgot that I got one and then I got another one. So that's how that happened. So I have two of those. All things that I have are super random. The first one is this Tresme Ultimate Hold Hairspray. I love this stuff and it was on sale for $4. It's usually around nine, I believe. So I grabbed some more of that. The next thing that I got was this Swiss Women's Multivitamin. This was on sale for $16 and I saved like $22, which is just crazy. So I picked up some more of those. I also picked up this little Maybelline white eyeshadow. I decided to get this because I really just need an eyeshadow that's pure white to do under my eyebrow and my inner corner because I'm kind of sick of using cream. It doesn't really brighten the area like I want it to. So I grabbed that. And then the last thing that I got from Priceline was this Australis Extender Lash and Brow, Brow Gel. I right now use an e.l.f. one, but I don't really want to import that because that takes like time and effort and I just couldn't be bothered so I just picked this one up and I hope that it does the trick. I also went to Kmart and grabbed this fluoro orange shirt that I'm absolutely in love with. As you guys know I run 5k's every single day and to date I have lost 21 kilos so pat on the back to me but I really wanted kind of like a fluoro bright shirt. As you guys saw in my last haul I got fluoro orange sneakers so I decided to get a matching shirt. This was only $10. I picked it up in a size 12. I was going to get the size 10 but I decided that I wanted a loose shirt rather than a skin tight shirt. So I picked up this one and I just love it. It's so incredibly bright. So from Kmart I picked up these underwear. These were originally $8 down to $3. They come with a spotty pair, a normal black pair and then a stripy pair. You cannot go wrong for three pairs of underwear for $3. That is just incredibly cheap, so I love these. The thing I got from Kmart was my Hello Kitty Bubblegum Body Spray. My friend Taylor kind of got me addicted to this by sending me one, and I just absolutely love the smell. So I constantly have this in my handbag and I just ran out so I decided to get another one. Things that I'm going to show you were given to me. My mom's friend had a huge clean out of all her like shoes and everything like that and we happened to be the exact same shoe size so I went through and picked out a few bits. Now if you're going to find this gross, I know some people find it gross when you wear other people's shoes but she's a friend of ours, I know her personally, I know what she's like and I know that these shoes are in great condition so I was not going to say no to free shoes. The first pair that I picked out were these really cute flats. These kind of have frill on the front and they're kind of a beige color, so I absolutely love those. The next pair that I got are kind of a bit more blingy and that's what they look like. They're all flats because I am like a giant being six foot three, so I just love them. I also picked up these ones which are very kind of classy looking in my opinion. They've got gold arrows down the front. These do have a slight heel but not too much. 
so I love them. And then the last pair that she gave me were these really cute beige flats with buckles on the front. I think they're really, really stunning. And I don't have any kind of neutrally beige shoes. All my shoes are black, so it was awesome to get those. So thank you so much, Sandra. That's my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video for more hauls, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!